Hi, welcome. I'm Lisa, one of your Westerville Library Youth Librarian, and I'm going to show you how to access and use World Book Encyclopedia. This is a great research tool for students of all ages. You can discover interesting facts, find what you need for a school assignment, learn about famous people, or play games and do activities. Let's get started. You want to begin at the Westerville Library's website. You can do this by searching for Westerville Public Library in Google, or you can type in westervillelibrary.org in your search engine. This is the main page of our website. To access the World Book Encyclopedia database or research tool, you want to go where it says books, movies, and more. You're going to give that a click. As you can see, it gives you a drop down box of options, and you want to go to the very last option called Research and Databases. Choose that. This will take you to a list of all of the library databases. And if you don't know, a database is just a place where you can access information that is verified and true. So you can see there's lots to choose from and there are different category headings. We're going to go to the very last category, which is called students, kids, and teens. You can see there's some different databases. If you want to scroll until you find World Book, give that a click. This will take you to the introduction page this gives you a summary of what World Book Encyclopedia is. Again, this database is great for second grade and older. It has all sorts of information in it. You can find information about history, animals, famous people, and more. To get into the database, then you're going to scroll down a little bit, and there are several options. There's for kids, advanced, and Spanish. For this demonstration, we're going to use for kids, because students is who we are making this video for. So here is the main interface of World Book Encyclopedia, kids. If you are outside of the library, you might have to put in your Westerville Public Library card. If you don't have a library card, you can get one for free by just choosing apply on the Westerville Library's website. So here is the World Book Encyclopedia main page. There's a search box right in the middle. You can type in any type of search term. You can also just choose explore. And this will bring you to several different types of topics, things like arts, history, people, religion, sports. And you can just click on these and explore different topics. So we can look at sports and we want to look at combat sports. So it gives you 18 items in this particular category. And you can scroll down here are some different choices. So for example, if I want to look at karate, I can choose that. And it gives me information about karate. It gives me a photo over here, tells me how to say it gives me some other information. You can also listen to this. You can see up here there's some different options. Articles, what we're reading right now. Standards is if you are a teacher or you're somebody looking to correlate with the Ohio State standards, it's right here. You can look at pictures, videos, and more if that exists, and then more information. Once you're finished with looking at this, you can just choose back or you can click where it says World Book Kids and that takes you right back to the main page. So that's search and explore. We can also just type in something that we're interested in. So if I'm interested in cats, I hit enter on my keyboard. Searching for cats brings up 107 items. You can do an advanced search as well, where you can say, I want to look about maps or pictures. I just want articles and pictures about cats because I'm going to make a poster board. If you know Lexile, that's kind of reading level, you can do that. I'm not going to do that right now. And we can hit cats. And again, just like we looked at karate, there's lots of different choices. So if I wanted to look at a leopard, again, here's a photo, beautiful leopard, information, more photos, and you can also cite. So if you're somebody who's creating a bibliography, it tells you exactly how to cite this information, it gives you the MLA and the APA or Harvard format. So it makes it super easy. You can just copy and paste. When you're done looking at this information, again, you can choose kids takes you right back to the main page. If you don't want to use a search term or just explore, you can come down here and as you can see, there are several different types of categories. Pictures and videos, world of animals, activities, maps, games, important people, compare places, science project, and dictionary. So you can look through different categories. I'm going to show you activities. If you are somebody who likes to solve puzzles, you can use crack the code and you can see there's different ones and choose that. So this one talks about sign language. It provides you with a activity to go along with it. Gives you an answer key, all sorts of information. So great for teachers as well as students. 
go back to the main page, you can see that there's different games of different levels. So there's crossword puzzles, multiple choice, matching, sorting, and you can scroll down. There's lots to choose from. So I wanted matching games. So these are for different age levels. When I'm done, just choose World Book, go right back. As you can see, each time we come back to the main page, it has a different photograph. You can see the shark here, and you can look at the different ones as you scroll through. So there's a lot to do with this World Book database tool. There's a dictionary if you wanted to look up science projects. So let's say you are doing a science project fair, and you don't know what to do. You can come here and get some ideas. So if you want to choose science, you can use. You choose that category, and it gives you some different options. So effects of temperature on microwave popcorn. How long before bread goes bad? How powerful is your battery? So you choose the one you're interested in, and it gives you information. And it tells you how you're going to complete this experiment. It gives you materials over here, gives you an introduction. You can also listen by choosing this little speaker button. It gives you photos, and it gives you the experiment. Some things to think about. And when you're done, you can choose back and do another experiment, or just go back to the main page. If you want to learn about different people, you can go to important people. And there you can do a search. You can look at different achievements down here. There's lots of different things to choose from. And if you were just interested in a specific person, so for example, if I wanted to look up LeBron James, I can search for him. And it's going to give me lots of different articles. As you can see, 179 items. All of the articles brought up might not be about LeBron James. It takes the keyword and searches for everything with that word. So you just want to pay attention to what you're choosing. But the first article is about LeBron James, so I'm going to choose that one. It gives me some photos, just like before. Information, more photos, the categories to look are here. Go back to the article. You can scroll through and read. And you can have a citation down here. It's very, very easy to use. This World Book Encyclopedia for Kids is a great resource for all ages, no matter what your project is, or if you just want to have some fun and come play some games. Check it out with your Westerville Public Library card. And if you have any questions, send us an email at kids at westervillelibrary.org and we'd be happy to help. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.